document signing connectors for Power Automate. There are currently 16 vendors that you can review, evaluate, when you're building out your automations in Power Automate that need to involve some sort of document signing. The most popular video I've had on YouTube is about this exact topic, but it's outdated. It's over a year old. There's seven new players since the last time we looked at this. So let's dive in. The 16 Microsoft certified connectors available for you to use inside any of your flows are Adobe Sign, AirSlate, Ascently eSign, Connective eSignatures, DocuSign, DocuSign Demo, Jacobit Portal, eSign, GetAccept, HelloSign, Nitro, Scribe eSign, Signing Now, Sign Now, sorry, Signing Hub, Sign Now, Sign Request, and WorkPoint. Now, not all of these connectors are ranked equally. Some are better than others and some are worse than others. So here are the must-have features, in our opinion, which would create an excellent Power Automate connector for document signing. And those are the ability to upload a document for signing, indication of where you need to sign, the ability to send to all signers, notifications when all signing parties have signed, and notifi notifications to the signing parties when the document has been fully executed. Finally, new in this round of analyzing these connectors, we're looking for it to have both triggers and actions. So how do they stock up? Here you go. This is exactly how they stock up. And you can see there's quite a few connectors out there that meet all of these that are really, truly excellent connectors. You can see that Adobe Sign has everything we were looking for, as does Get Accept and Scribe eSign. Finally, Sign Now. They check all of the boxes. Now, you might not need all of these boxes, but I think this is a really nice way to see who meets your needs if these are the criteria that you might be looking for. So if you're looking for a connector that you can implement today, these are all the ones that you can use that already exist in the Microsoft ecosphere. You don't need to make a custom connector. There's no custom integration that needs to happen. Just put those in your flows and they will work. So there, are, like you can see, there's a lot that check all of the boxes. There are a lot that are lacking. I'll give you an example, DocuSign, and I use DocuSign internally. At Reenhanced, we use it for all of our document signing. Um, that one's a little disappointing. Of course, you can send it to signers, you can trigger it, and there's a couple actions, but it didn't have some of the core capabilities that we were expecting. So that was just one surprise, personally, because I use and love DocuSign. And I'm sure they'll iterate and add to it. When we first reviewed this, Adobe was missing some, and they have iterated and added to it. But you can see some are better than others. Now, another lens that you might want to look at this for, for your own personal evaluation is, well, okay, you might check all the boxes, but how many different actions are there? And you can see some of these aren't that great. Like one action, zero triggers, that's probably not a good fit. Some of them have a plethora of actions available to you. So you can really dive in and check any of these out that you're interested more of. Our rating, completely subjective rating, based on the scale that we just talked about, but you can see how we rate these from one to five stars, and there is a little bit of impact on the number of actions. Now, we're not going to penalize anyone because they have less actions, but if you have less actions and you don't have what you'd expect to, to get in order to work on document signing, there, there might have been a little, little low rating there. Um, so where can you go if you want to learn more about this great stuff? Well, here's connectorreview.com, a absolutely free resource. And you can look for the document signing tag here on the left, which I've already clicked. And here are our 16 players. You can hover over any of these to get a brief preview. If you want to dive in and learn more, for example, for Adobe Sign, you can click here. You can read our review at Reenhanced, which goes into more detail. You can link to Microsoft documentation. You can go to the website, and if they've provided any vendor documentation, you can click that as well. Also, it's going to show you a very detailed list of what all of your triggers and what all of your actions are, along with any additional tags for that. One other interesting thing I'll call out is the DocuSign demo has one more action than the regular DocuSign does, which is interesting, right? 
Um, but that's that's it for our brief overview on document signing connectors for Power Automate. Let me know what you think. Who are you using in your automations? Um, who do you want to see more, I don't know, actions, triggers, or even a vendor that's missing from this list that you should be there?